This is an amazing game for teachers out there. I call it the Lost Letters of Doom. It is so easy to teach kids how to play this game, so I call it a game protocol. That's where you teach the kids, you model for it, you show them how to play. They can be really creative, and they can use the game again and again and again throughout the year. Once they know it once, yes, you do have to take you know, 10, 15 minutes initially to kind of review how to play the game and how to make it work. But after that, you've got this game you can use throughout the year. So let's show you how it works. This game is so easy. Here are the directions. Basically, you come up with a list of words and you remove every other letter. That's it. It's super simple, but it is very, very creative. Don't let the simplicity of the game fool you. Kids love this game and it actually is pretty challenging. So here's the rules. I'll have them at the end again, but I'll let's jump right into a clue so you can see how it works. All right, here's a pretty easy clue. The theme, usually you can come up with a theme with your students. This one's a math theme. Um, any ideas? You know what this one is? The clue is minus. I've just taken a word, removed every other letter. Boom, the word subtraction. Pretty cool, huh? That's it. Here's one with a little more of a clever clue. Uh, see if you can get it. It always gets picked. I was thinking people would think vegetable, but it's nose. Try a sports theme. What's this one? The clue is dribble. Basketball. You got it. All right, if you're a teacher, you have some math vocabulary. This is a good one. Clue, it is five digits. Hand. You got it. Hand. Don't move. Freeze. All right, let's end on a cheesy note. Kids love cheese. You should know that as a teacher. Clue, the worst kind of snow to eat. You got it. Yellow snow. All right, couple. there are a lot of little tips to make sure this works successfully in the classroom. One, if you don't know how to get kids playing games in the classroom, that's an art in itself. I can, if you're interested, show you more tips and tricks on how to make that successful without chaos happening in a classroom. Uh, that, that comes with a little practice. But the other thing is you have to model how to play this game. Really model and think aloud you making clues in front of the class and then you could you're all set to go and you can use this in the classroom i hope you find it useful if you want or if you're interested in learning any of that other stuff please put a comment below subscribe and i'll make sure to make another video